Welcome, welcome. Come in, come in. Would you care for something to eat? Tomatoes, perhaps? Or some toast? Or tiny tacos? Or maybe a taquito? Or some tartar sauce? Or Tabasco? No? Okay. No food right now? That's okay. Um, you want to play a game? Huh? We've got tiddlywinks, tic-tac-toe, we've got twister, or uh, we could just play with some toy trucks or toy trains. Or we can listen to Tiny Tim's Tiptoe Through the Tulips. What are you wearing? Trousers. And a t-shirt and a tie and a top hat. Why, what are you wearing? Wait, that's not a tuxedo. No, it's just a fancy old suit for our tea party. A tea party is where you drink tea, not just do things that start with the letter T. We have tea. Oh. There's a teacup. Okay. There you go. Well, finally. And here is some tea, sir. Right, thank you. And most importantly, at a tea party, you must be very proper and discuss very sophisticated and important topics of the day, such as ping pong doesn't start with tea. It's table tennis, Brandon. And look how tall I am. Totally nailed it. I'm Brandon. I'm Steven. And welcome to the So-and-So Show. Steven, it's been a lot of fun this summer. Oh, absolutely. We have had quite the time with pool parties, cookouts, vacation. And hopefully we've been learning a lot about each other and about a God who loves us. Woohoo! But summer will be over before we know it. Well, that's no fun. No, it makes me kind of sad. Yeah. We could tell each other jokes. Yeah, jokes don't work on me. There's never been a joke that's made me laugh. No? No. Not a single one. Oh, really? Really. Huh. 
That gives me an idea. It's time to play Make Me Laugh. Okay, this is the way this game experiment, a silly way to spend four minutes, whatever you want to call it, works. In this bowl are a plethora of jokes. Steven and I will take turns drawing jokes and telling them. And if either of us laugh, we have to go to the face pancake dunk of disgrace. Yes, and when you are at the face pancake dunk of disgrace, you must place your face in the tub. Each tub corresponds with the number of laughs you are on. Tub one, milk. Tub two, flour. And tub three, syrup with chocolate chips and bananas. Mm. Mm. Whichever person has dunked into all three tubs will be the official wearer of the pancake face of disgrace. Sounds fun. That's one word for it. Go ahead and draw first, Stephen. Oh, I, I, yeah, you I, I, ask the first joke. Okay. It'll be great. Wonderful. Here we go. How do you... Ah. Why are chickens so funny? I don't know. Because! That was the whole, that was the whole thing. That was it. All right. It didn't, nothing? No, nope. got nothing. I think that was a close one. Yeah, Your well, turn. So bad. All right, all right, I'll do one. Here we go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Never laughed at a joke. Never. Yep. This may be the first, I don't know. What's the difference between a bathroom and a dining room? What? And that's why no one invites you over. <laughs> ah, there it is! <laughs> Wait, no! No, you left! Oh, no, that it was, was over! Ah. Right, you have to go to the face dunk of disgrace. Here we go. Okay. One laugh, one Ready? dunk. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's enough. Yes, that was it. Is that Be good? Beautiful. All right. Uh, Yum. All right. That's one for you. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. Ready? Yes. What do you call a fake noodle? What? An impasta. <laughs> oh, you laughed. No, I didn't. No, that's my you, own it joke. It doesn't matter. You can't you do laugh it. The joke. Will you laugh? You have to go back. Oh, come two. on. You gotta do two this time. flour? I no, you do both. both. You gotta do milk, then flour. Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that looks amazing. All right, great, great. All right. So good. So that's good. Oh, it's my turn again, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. All right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. You ready? No, I'm not. You're not let's ready? do it anyway. Right. What do you call a fish with five eyes? I don't know. Fish. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> That's right. You spelled it with the eyes. I know. That was the eyes. You know what this means, don't you? What? I win! What? You have to go to the no. face, face dunk of disgrace, whatever it's called. Dunk of disgrace? Right. Just straight for it? No, start for this. Oh, Gotta man. go all three. Here we go. It's okay. It'll wash off some of this. Yes. You ready? Go. <gasps> and Here's the I syrup. I can't see it. Where is it? Just straight down. Well, you, you got it. That looks delicious. It is delicious. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Woohoo! Hey, fellas, how's it going? <laughs> hey, Kellen, what's small and purple and dangerous? Hmm. Uh, oh, an eggplant with an anger management problem. <laughs> Now that's funny. Okay, okay. He's funny. Uh, yeah, you got a story for us today? I sure do. Then take it away. So our story today isn't so much a story, but a single verse from the book of the Bible called Romans. Now, Romans was written by one of the earliest Jesus followers named Paul. And he was writing to other Jesus followers in the city of Rome. Here's what the verse says. Be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. And that's all there is to it. Excuse me? Excuse 
me? That's all there is to it? Um, I mean, that's not all. I mean, I mean, that's just all the words. Ah, hello, hello, dear friend Kellen. Ah, so nice of you to meet me. My name is Alex O'Toole, director extraordinaire. You may remember me as the director of such films as Breakfast at Theodore's and Saving Mr. Brian. Let's hear that verse once again, okay? Uh, um, um, okay. Uh, be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. Hmm. Have you ever been joyful in your life? Have you ever been sad? You read that verse as if you are ordering a plain cheeseburger without the cheese. Let me hear the verse with joy and action. Uh, okay, uh, be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. Okay, but where is the sadness? Let's hear the joy with the joyful and the sadness with the sad. Okay, right, that makes sense, do it, does it? Uh, it, it does actually it does make, sense. make sense. It does okay. make sense, okay. Okay, action. <laughs> be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. Okay, this is you, burger. Joy, sadness. I need your joy to be here and your sadness to be down here, okay? Action! <clears throat> be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. Okay, that's okay, but it's still missing something. Uh, ah, wait right here. Oh, okay. Well, while he's gone, <laughs> um, after Jesus had risen from the dead, he left earth. Then his followers started living their lives together. In fact, they started sharing everything they had with one another, and not just their joy and sadness. They even sold what they had to help those who didn't have as much. Okay, okay, I have it. I want you to dance while I play, and then say the first part of the verse. And then when I stop playing, stop dancing, and say the second part, okay? Okay. Okay, Fine. here we go, dance. Be joyful with those who are joyful. Hear the silence. Okay. Be sad with those who are sad. Okay, very good. Now run around! Oh. You are a deer! You are a deer! You're a deer bouncing! Oh, oh, oh. You're bounding! Oh, right now, okay. You're, yes, yes, leap! You are free! You are air! You are joyful! Say it! Say it! Oh, uh, be joyful with those who are joyful! And now you are a sloth! You're a sloth! You have a tummy ache! Uh, okay, okay. Oh, it hurts so bad! Okay, go! Oh, be sad with those who are sad. All right, all right, wait right here, I'll be back. Absolutely, all right. Well, let's think about the second part of the verse. Be sad with those who are sad. That's a great reminder that it's okay to be sad. And here's the beautiful part. You can build meaningful relationships when you can feel sad with a friend or family member when they feel sad. And believe it or not, you can actually bring joy to others that way. Maybe not immediately, but over time. Oh, for me? Thank you. Say the verse. All right. Be joyful with those who are joyful. No cake for you. Be sad with those who are sad. Ah, yes, once more, the whole verse. Okay. Be joyful with those who are joyful. Be sad with those who are sad. Oh, you bring me great joy. You bring me great sadness. I share these both with you. Uh, thank you, Alex. You're welcome. The pleasure was all yours. I share this cake with you too. Have some cake. My work here is done. Okay, bye-bye. Well, that's the Bible story. It's just one verse, but it says so, so much. You know, I think sometimes the simplest verses can say the most. Yeah, and it's so simple to bring someone joy. Especially when you live your life the way Jesus wants you to. 
When you share and care for people, you can build a group of friends and family that you'll know so well. You'll know what will bring them joy. You can also remind them of what Jesus taught and how having a relationship with him is one of the greatest ways to find joy. Well said. Thanks, Kellen. Anytime. I'll see you later. Hi. See ya. I think it's always good when we can think of what brings others joy, not just ourselves. Absolutely. In, in fact, that's a good thing to think about. Oh, yeah. Reveal the question! What are ways you can help others find joy? Maybe you can tell them jokes. Yeah, or, or watch them make a pancake face of disgrace. True. <laughs> Maybe you can invite them to eat lunch with you. Or you can share a song with them that makes you really happy. And when you think of ways to bring others joy, it can bring joy to you as well. Yep. Thanks for hanging out with us today. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. Bye. Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. Ha <laughs> ha got him. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. Moo! Interrupting. Moo! Interrupt. Moo! All right, fine. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Hey, and don't cry, it's only a joke. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay, man. All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? Goliath. Goliath who? Goliath down, you sound tired. Nice. <laughs>